Hi hey guys, uh, now uh, I uh, would like to just show you that how we can calculate the natural frequency of a plate or uh, it could be any structure, okay, it could be a 1D structure, it could be a 2D structure or 3D structure. So right now I'll just show you that how we can calculate a natural frequency uh, for my plate. So plate uh, dimensions can, could be anything maybe. So for a demonstration purpose I'll just uh, you know create one surface here with certain x y z value so let us say my plate dimensions are something like this i have plate of uh, 150 every dimension so now you can see i have one plate of uh, 150 dimension now what i need to do is i need to go back to mesh of the surface and uh, I will just do the mesh for my surface so this is a mesh on my structure now what I can do is uh, first initially I will just show you the natural frequency for a free free structure in second step I will just show you the natural frequency with the constraint like if I will put the constraint my natural frequency will get changed so initial level let us go ahead with this and uh, what I need to do is I need to define the material property so I am just selecting any material from the library so I have uh, aluminium in my library I have selected that and after that I need to go back to my shell property so I am just writing any name to define this property and here I need to select this and here maybe I need to define the thickness also for my plate and we can assign this thickness and material to this plate now uh, what we can see is we can see the 3d visualization of the plate how we can see that here we have option utilities we have option of display and again we have option of uh, display shell thickness if i'll select all my element and i'll say apply it will try to show me the thickness uh, uh, orientation basically so this is just a visualization purpose and after checking all these thick 3d thickness now i can go back to my cancel so it will cancel my 3d visualization stuff and now i can go back to my analysis and i will just simply select the deck so that it will create a natural frequency or normal mode file for me and i'll say apply I'll minimize this and I'll go back to nest strand and if I will select my plate problem and I'll run this it will try to solve this plate problem and it will give me some results <coughs> so that I'm just opening here and here is my folder now if I look at the fo6 file and if you will scroll down it will try to show me natural frequencies here so as i mentioned that i have not given any constraint so it is showing me all the natural frequencies in terms of zero and from seventh it is showing me some natural frequencies so why it is showing zero because i have not given any translational and rotational constraint to my structure so it is showing my natural frequency something around 522 hertz now if I will go back to my pattern and if I will check my uh, 3D visualization or contour for my structure that how it will look like and how it, this mode shape will look like for that I am just going to show you. Now I will go back to my results and you can see my first uh, natural frequency it is something around this so what I need to do is I need to go back and I need to you know go to and what I can do is I can go back to my animation so this is my uh, behavior for my plate and why it is happening just because 
so model scale we need to choose yeah so it is plotting like this now if I because I have not given any constraint so this it is showing from uh, translational mode and again in second mode it is you know again the second translational mode and here third mode is like this and you can see from fourth onwards it is having some other modes now if i look at the seventh mode it is showing me the natural frequencies that is a bending mode you can see here and uh, maybe eighth mode could be a torsional mode like that so it depends basically so software will calculate the 10 natural frequencies but there is no boundary we can ask solver to solve for the 20 30 40 50 and so on all right so this uh, <coughs> example was for the free free condition now I, i'll consider the same example here and i'll uh, go back to my load and boundary condition i'll put constraint here on the edges to see whether my natural frequencies are changing or not so I have, I have given a constraint here to my structure this end we are fixing and now I'll go back to analysis and I'm just changing my job name as a fix and again I am just creating a file here sorry now I need to go back to analyze and again I will create a file and again I will just solve this boundary condition file and again if I will open this uh, file here to see whether my natural frequencies are changing yes of course now I am getting my natural frequencies in the initial phase itself I am not getting any zero frequency here so now again I will go back to my preprocessor I will select my input file uh, output file here and now I will go back to my result and you can see here there is one initial A1 for the uh, another previous results now this is my next step results now you can see my first mode of the structure thank you